What am I doing with my life? This is quite possibly the dirtiest Proton Saga Iswara in the UK today. Why? Well, because I pulled it out of a barn this morning. We've got it home, we've had a look round it, and, well, there's something missing that's quite important from the engine bay. And that would be the engine. Um, so it needs to go. The car needs to um, leave the Coupland collection. But before it does, I'm gonna give it a wash. Because as you can see, it is in just found condition. The bonnet actually looks much cleaner than the rest of the car, owing to the fact that it had a tarpaulin over it. But you won't be seeing out the windows anytime soon. And the rear certainly leaves a lot to be desired. You can only just make out the badges on the back. Now inside, if I was to get in the car and close the door, it would probably seem quite dark. And that certainly isn't the most appealing for the rear passengers either, is it? As you can see, the car is posh rotten at the back on both wheel arches and it's missing the engine. It has been stood in that barn uh, probably since somebody decided they needed it for the engine for around about 10 years. I'm going to get the jet wash out then, give it a good clean. Am I wasting my time? Yeah, probably because it's uh, a scrap car, but it's gonna be good to watch, isn't it? In this video then, we are going to jet wash this car off. We're gonna give it a damn good clean and it will be like new when I've finished. And certainly, we'll hopefully banish all the spiders. <laughs> hopefully I don't find any rats. Now, before I sweep straw and muck and all sorts of stuff over my driveway, really upsetting Mrs. John Coupland, I am gonna give it a brush off first under here, just so I can put those bits in the bin. I've got my bucket, I've got my uh, brush and bucket here as well. I did think that was going to come off there a little bit better. I don't want to scratch the paintwork up unnecessarily. Maybe I am going to have to just jet wash all that off. I'll just brush all the loose stuff off here onto my into my bucket, I think. The fact that it's been wet this afternoon, it's gone sticky. That didn't work as well as I wanted. Here though, I am gonna grab my bucket and just get rid of some of this loose straw in there. I wonder what treasures we will find. Oh, why am I even bothering? What's that? That's a rose bush. What's that doing under there? This is going to take me hours for very little reward, isn't it? Look at all that. I know that you, as much as I, want to see this honey jet washed. <laughs> Let's go. Oh. There is something immensely satisfying about that.
Now I've looked at the back window and I think there's a dealer sticker in the rear there. And if it is, then it's gonna say S. Cropley, Boston, because that's where the car is from. So it's a local car. Let's find out. That's made me happy. Look at that. I bet there's not many of them left. So the rear is certainly looking much better than it did 10 minutes ago. I need to just jet wash all this mud off here at the back, but coming up nice. Right now, let's tackle the back here. So far, this is the most satisfying car I've ever cleaned.
So now I can see the sunroof, I can see that it's been siliconed up. Well, we've just had an absolute biblical thunderstorm uh, and it's washed away <laughs> a lot of my beautiful barn find dust. Now the sun has attempted to come out. Well now I've jet washed it off, I can see quite a large crease in that bonnet, which is a shame.
So the majority of uh, the exterior has now been jet washed. It's still got stuff everywhere. And every time I open the door, I blow more <laughs> filth off it. Aside from a few bits of dirt that I've blasted out of crevices, it's coming up quite nicely. And now what really lets the car down is this engine bay. Let's give that a clean. That certainly looks better. I wonder if I hook a battery up to that if the windows will work now. Well, after a brief jet wash, she doesn't look too bad. I'm not going to get a bucket and a sponge on it and wash and wax, but I am gonna tackle the dirty interior at a later date. I'm just gonna finish it off, but it looks better than it did. So now I've cleaned the exterior, we can have a little look around the car and we can see the wibbles and dents and marks and the rust. There is quite a big dent in the bonnet there, in fact there's a couple which you can see which kind of renders the bonnet not useless but it's not fantastic. There is no rust on there which is good news and the paint is good so that might be useful to somebody. The front bumper, it has had a couple of knocks in its life 
um, and all the glass is okay, the front windscreen is starting to delaminate there, which makes it no good. The fact the sunroof has been sealed in its life uh, tells a story, doesn't it? But things that are useful, this wing, the front bumper, this door is no good, these back doors are okay, um, the boot lid is very good, there's not a single wiggle in that, and actually boot lids are normally the first thing to get damaged. Um, the rear bumper is nice as well, and the interior, well there are some salvageable parts in there which we will tackle in another video. There you have it then, what you've all been waiting for, which is for me to jet wash off this dirty proton. It isn't perfect, and if I went over it with a bucket and a sponge, it would look even better. But I'm not going to waste too much time doing that, considering the car is going to be broken. I am going to open these doors and let uh, some air in there, because we've got some water in there. And I can feel how warm it's getting, you can see how it's um, steaming up. If you've enjoyed this video, thumbs up please. It has been a little bit more of an ASMR dirty car cleaning. But I enjoyed that and hope you did too. Um, if you haven't already subscribed, please do so. Let me know in the comments below. What did you reckon to that? Which was your favourite bit? For me, I like seeing all the dirt come out of the badges. And that engine bay was quite satisfying as well. Till next time, have a great day, whatever you're getting up to. Thanks for watching. There'll be plenty more on this Proton, including us cleaning the interior and stripping it out for parts. Have a great day. Goodbye. There are so many more Proton related videos on the channel and I've actually selected a couple that I think you might like here uh, on this page. Give them a click to watch them now. Don't forget to subscribe for more Proton fun and lots more videos coming soon.